all right students let's go ahead and now revise the next chart the next chart is on composition levy everyone over here we started learning gst with goods or service goods or service has to be supplied supply can be either interstate supply or supply can be either intrastate supply interstate supply i gst will be levied intrastate everyone c gst will be levied now everyone listen to me very carefully once gst is levied once gst is levied gst has to be collected and paid by a taxable person do you guys remember everyone collected and paid by a taxable person everyone listen to me very carefully in between some people came and told sir section number nine we have to go ahead and collect the gst we have to pay the gst we have to take the itc sir itc set off with the output tax too much of headache is there sir please give us a simple scheme so government went ahead and told okay normal scheme you don't want you want to go for a simple scheme so government gave them composition scheme which is a composition levy under section number 10 we are going to now learn about the composition levy everyone over here composition levy sir First of all, you have to go ahead and see, sir, because of coming of GST, you see my condition. So, government went ahead and told, okay, for small manufacturer traders, etc. Government went ahead and told, we will give this scheme, everyone, small trader, manufacturers and restaurant. Ke liye. Government had introduced this scheme, which is known as composition scheme. So, if your turnover in the preceding financial year, if your turnover in the last year was up to 1.5 crore or 75 lakh, Baba, this 50 I am cutting now, you don't count. If your turnover in the last year was up to 1.5 crore or 75 lakh, excluding what everyone? Excluding interest or discount. Then remember one thing, in the current financial year, you are a person who is eligible for composition scheme up to a turnover of 1.5 crore or 75 lakh. Don't cut anything in the chart. 1.5 crore or 75 lakh. Then up to 1.5 crore or 75 lakh, you will have an option the option is that you can go for composition scheme and baba the option is to be exercised across india pan wise means under your pan whatever registrations are there all have to come under composition scheme together done everyone now so pan wise all india scheme me all india basis pay you'll have to go ahead and take composition scheme it can't happen that if you have two registration one can be normal registration one can be composition registration not possible sir who are the people who are eligible for composition scheme eligible people are told under section number 10 one section number 10 one goes ahead and says mtr are the people who are eligible manufacturer m for manufacturer t for trader and r for restaurant mtr remember one thing manufacturer goes ahead and pays out of his own pocket you are are not going to take any input tax credit you are not going to charge any tax from your customer to your customer you should just go ahead and issue bill of supply you should not go ahead and give any tax invoice to your customer if you are a composition dealer people remember a composition dealer he will not take any itc if he has gone ahead and paid gst you will not take any itc when he goes ahead and make supply he will not go ahead and charge tax so when you are not charging any tax you should not issue tax invoice you should go ahead and give a bill of supply when i am going ahead and giving a bill of supply you will not be able to take any input tax credit no itc to the recipient also then sir and sir if i am a person who is under composition scheme if i go ahead and take any services if i go ahead and take any services for an example i took gta ka service i should pay gst under rcm now should i go ahead and pay only one percent government is selling whatever inward supplies you take under section number 93 and 94 if you are liable to pay gst under rcm you have to go ahead and pay at applicable rate and also you will not be able to take any rcm ka tax also if you pay you will not be able to take any itc and then if you are a manufacturer, you should go ahead and pay how much everyone? 0.5% CGST and 0.5% SGST of your turnover, of your turnover. If you are a trader, you should pay 0.5% and 0.5% CGST and 0.5% SGST of your taxable turnover on which GST is there. Of your exam supplies, you will not go ahead and pay. You will go ahead and pay only of your taxable turnover, which is their taxable supplies. And restaurant goes ahead and pays 2.5 and 2.5 of their turnover. Can we go ahead, everyone? Now, sir, it is your own obligation. You should not go ahead and collect it from your customer. Then I went ahead and told you. So, sir, what did I tell you? If your last year turnover is up to 1.5 crore or 75 lakh, sir, for whom it is 1.5 crore, 75 lakh, you have to remember 1.5 crore is for Hoja and 75 lakh is for Mantas. Sir, can you please go ahead and tell us what do you mean by Mantas? M A N T U S. Remember one thing Mantas ke late is how much, everyone? 75 lakhs. M for if you are from Meghalaya, Manipur, and sir, you are from Mizoram, then Mizoram. Then for you, the limit is 75 lakh. A for Arunachal, Arunachal Pradesh. If you are from Arunachal Pradesh, then also limit is 75 lakh. And for Nagaland also limit is 75 lakh. T for Tripura also limit is 75 lakh. U for Uttarakhand. 
also limit is 75 lakh and as for Sikkim also the limit is 75 lakh are we clear everyone and I went ahead and told you 1.5 crore ka limit is for whom everyone H O J A H for Himachal Pradesh A O for other states and sir this is Jammu and Kashmir and A for Assam are we clear everyone remember one thing Bantus and Hoja Mantas, it is how much everyone? 75 lakh. And if you are from Oja, it is 1.5 crore. Can I go ahead everyone? Mantas, the name is long. So remember, Arunachal Pradesh, the name is long, which comes in Mantas. And Assam, the name is short. And Hoja also name is short. It means Assam comes in Hoja. Can I go ahead everyone? Sir, you understood everyone? Uh, A for Arunachal Pradesh. Mantas name is long. So Arunachal Pradesh comes in Mantas only. Assam, the name is short. Hoja also name is short. So short may short will come. Can I go ahead? Sir, if I am having a single pan and I am there in both the uh, Mantas also and Hoja also, then Baba, lower limit 75 lakh rupees will be applicable to you. Can I go ahead everyone? Everyone over here. So if your turnover in the preceding financial year is 1.5 crore or 75 lakh, in the current financial year, you can go for an option. Option is to go for composition scheme. It's an option, not mandatory. It should be taken pan-wise all India basis pay. Who are the people who are eligible? MTR, manufacturer, trader, and restaurant. Remember one thing, manufacturer pays 0 0.5, 0 0.5 of the turnover. Trader pays 0 0.5, 0 0.5 of the taxable turnover. And restaurant pays 2.5 and 2.5. It's your own obligation. Don't take ITC. Don't charge any GST. Reverse charge may pay applicable rate. If reverse charge may 18% is there, you have to pay 18% and you will not get ITC. If reverse charge GTA service 5% is there, you have to pay 5% and you will not get any credit. Can I go ahead everyone? Sir, now who are the people who are ineligible? Who are the people who are ineligible under section number 10-1? Baba, section number 10-1 it has to be read with section number 10-2 because section number 10-2 says who are the people who will be ineligible for composition scheme. The I went ahead and told one shortcut to remember is mines. Number one, if you are a manufacturer, M for manufacturer of pan masala, aerated water, ice cream and other edible ice, whether containing cocoa or not, tobacco, fly as bricks, blocks or aggregate, fly as bricks, blocks or aggregate, sir, bricks of fossil meal or similar siliceous earth, building bricks or earthen or roofing tile. If you are a manufacturer of what everyone? Pan masala, aerated water, ice cream, tobacco, bricks of various kinds which are there and sir, earthen or roofing tile, then you will not be eligible for composition scheme. Remember, remember, we are talking about manufacturers are ineligible. If you are a trader, if you are a trader, you will be eligible. Trader means who buys and sells. Manufacturer means who buys raw material and manufactures it. Manufacturers are ineligible. Traders are eligible. Can I go ahead, everyone? The next one over here is, if you are an interstate outward supplier of goods or service, if you are interstate outward, outward supplier of goods or service, you will become ineligible. Remember, outward supplier is ineligible. Buying is okay, but you can't supply to other state. And for non-taxable goods, if you are supplying non-taxable goods or service, non-taxable is what everyone? HP man and alcoholic liquor for human consumption. HP man means everyone high speed diesel, petroleum crude, motor spirit, aviation turbine, fuel and natural gas. Then you are a person ineligible for composition scheme and alcoholic liquor for human consumption. You will become ineligible for composition scheme if you are a supplier of non-taxable goods. Sir, supplier word when they say you can be a manufacturing plus supplying, manufacturer supplier or you can be buying and selling, trader also. Can I go ahead everyone? But when they say manufacture strictly, they mean only manufacturers. Can I go ahead everyone? So if you are a supplier of non-taxable goods, whether you are manufacturing and supplying or you are buying and selling, then also you are a supplier or you are an NRTP or CTP, you will become ineligible for composition scheme. Sir, so for su supplying goods or service through e-commerce, if you are selling goods or service through e-commerce and e-commerce is going to deduct TCS, then also you will become ineligible for composition scheme. If you are a service provider, if you are a service provider other than restaurant or catering, then all the service providers are ineligible for section number 10.1. Read with section number 10.2 when you read. Section number 10.1 and 10.2 ka scheme when you read. Service providers are ineligible other than restaurant and catering. But then they went ahead and told, sir, tell me one thing everyone. Now, what people went ahead and told, sir, when we are going ahead and giving money to use and receiving interest, we become supplier of service. So, government went ahead and told, remember one thing, even if you give money and receive interest, you become a supplier of service. But... Just because you have interest income, you will not become ineligible for composition scheme. And hence, they went ahead and told when you are going ahead and checking eligibility in aggregate turnover also exclude interest. And also, when you are going ahead and paying the tax, you will pay on turnover. That time also you should exclude interest. Interest, wherever you see, you close your eyes and say, I will ignore interest. Can I go ahead everyone? 
The next one over here is, sir, supposedly I am a manufacturer of television and I have gone ahead and done some other services, little bits of services. Is it okay? Government told if you are a manufacturer, trader or restaurant and you want to provide little little services that little little service also marginal service i will allow you and government told you can go ahead and provide up to 10 percent of your turnover in the preceding financial year or five lakh whichever is higher that uh, you can go ahead and provide what everyone marginal services can i go ahead everyone everyone over here now sir supposingly i am a person who is ineligible under section number 10 1 then i can go for 10 2 a or if i am ineligible under section number 10 2 also i can go for section number 10 2 a section number 10 2 a was a scheme which was drafted for exclusively service provider but sir if you are a person supplying goods plus service also and service is more than that marginal services which are there then government is going ahead and telling what everyone if you have manufacturer plus a service provider then they are going at means if you are ineligible under section number 10 1 or 10 2 then you can go for section number 10 2 a section number 10 2 a was primarily designed for service provider but sir if you are a person who is ineligible under 10 1 and 10 2 might be i'm supplying goods plus service equally then they are going ahead and telling sir you can come for section number 10 2 a in section number 10 2 a they went ahead and told your preceding financial account turnover will be seen up to 50 lakh rupees if your turnover in the last year was up to 50 lakh rupees then in the current financial year up to a turnover of how much everyone 50 lakh rupees you will be eligible for which scheme everyone section number 10 to a wala scheme section number 10 to a says sir option to a registered person with aggregate turnover how much 50 lakh any state which you are there if the turnover limit will be seen as how much everyone 50 lakh rupees in the preceding financial year excluding interest or discount you have to always exclude interest or discount from your aggregate turnover also and turnovers also then sir plus you are ineligible under section number 10 1 and 10 2 then you can come for 10 2 a which goes ahead and says you have to pay 3 percent cgst and 3 percent hgst which is 6 percent of your turnover in the state and when you are paying off your turnover in the state also that turnover say also you should exclude interest and discount and sir what is the condition sir i went in and told you who are the people ineligible over here in 10 2 manufacturer of inter manufacturer of pan masala aerated water ice cream tobacco Bricks and tiles, roofing tiles wala person. I for interstate outward supplier, N for NRTP, CTP, non-taxable goods ka supplier, E for person supplying through e-commerce who is going to deduct TCS and sir, S for service provider. I went ahead and told you about these five people. The same five people have been told over here also and they told condition is that you should not be a manufacturer of notified goods which are there, mines wala notified goods. I for interstate supplier, I for interstate supplier, N for non-taxable goods ka supplier supplier or nrtp or ctp and for nrtp ctp or non-taxable goods or service ka supplier but non-taxable services are not there only goods are there two and e for if you are supplying through e-commerce who is going to deduct what everyone deduct or collect tcs then in that scenario you will not become you will not be eligible for 10 to a also are we clear everyone tell me one thing what did i tell you till now i went and told if your turnover in the last year is 1.5 crore or 75 lakh or 50 lakh then in the current financial year you will be eligible for a scheme which is composition scheme composition scheme has to be taken pan wise on all india basis eligible people are mgr manufacturer trader restaurant manufacturer pays 0 0.5 0 0.5 trader pays 0 0.5 0 0.5 of taxable turnover and restaurant pays 2.5 2.5 no itc no output tax when you take services under RCM, full amount has to be paid under RCM and you will not get credit also. And whatever you have to pay on your output tax, your, it's your own obligation, you can't collect it from your customer. Who are the people ineligible? Mines are ineligible. Sir, if you are ineligible under 10.1, and 10 2 then you can come for 10 2 a 10 2 a went ahead and told if your turnover in the last year is up to 50 lakh rupees and in the current financial year you can go for composition scheme under section number 10 2 and you have to pay 3 percent cgst and 3 percent hgst of your turnover in state when you are paying off your turnover always remember whenever you are paying wherever you are paying off your turnover people always exclude what see aggregate turnover generally includes interest income but sir, in composition, you will aggregate turnover, so also exclude interest and also from turnover also you should exclude interest or discount and then remaining amount you have to pay 3% and 3%. Who is ineligible under 10 to a? Mine. Not mines. Why not S over here? Because this scheme is also for only for, mainly was for service providers and hence they told only mine are ineligible. Can I go ahead everyone? Now sir, here I have gone ahead and told, if, who are these people? MTR are allowed to provide little little service how much little little service everyone remember one thing to supply services up to 10 percent of the turnover or unit territory in state or unit territory whatever the turnover was there in the preceding financial year or 5 lakh whichever is higher of your turnover of your turnover you can provide 10 percent or 5 lakh whichever is 
higher. Then they are going ahead and telling after you go ahead and calculate 10% of turnover or 5 lakh, whichever is higher. If I go ahead and tell you like this, for an example, my preceding financial year, my preceding financial year, I was doing taxable supply, I was having interest income also. Supposing in Karnataka, I have 10 lakh, uh, 50 lakh rupees over here, 10 lakh rupees interest income in Tamil Nadu. I had supposingly taxable supplies 50 lakh rupees and interest income 10 lakh rupees. If I go ahead and ask you current financial year, if I will be eligible, you will see last year turnover. What is the aggregate turnover of the last year? Please exclude interest income and your last year turnover is 1 crore rupees. Am I eligible? Yes. Anyone? Any doubt till here? Sir, supposingly if I am eligible, how much services I can provide? Then you will see turnover. Can you tell me how much is the turnover in the state of Karnataka? 50 lakh rupees. How much is the turnover in the state of Tamil Nadu? Tamil Nadu, okay, I'll make it 60 and 60 everyone. If I make it 60 and 60, then you will go ahead and tell me 1.2 CR. Am I eligible? Yes. Now you will go ahead and tell me what is the turnover 60 lakh here and 60 lakh. Always exclude interest. Now out of this turnover, how much services I can provide in Karnataka? 10% of 60 lakh which is 6 lakh or 5 lakh which is higher? 6 lakh. Out of this turnover, how much can I provide in Tamil Nadu everyone? Services 6 lakh or 5 lakh whichever is? higher which is 6 lakh rupees are we clear everyone remember one thing last year turnover can can provide 10 percent of 5 lakh whichever is higher are we all clear till here and current year also you should not go ahead and exceed your 1.5 crore including this amount is you should not go ahead and exclude 5 1.5 crore are we clear and listen to me one thing and this also is excluding the 6 lakh and 6 lakh in the current year you can provide purely other services excluding interest and discount and that is what is being told over here after calculating 10 percent of 5 lakh whichever is higher exclude interest and discount in current year also remember one thing a composition person who is there always go ahead, goes ahead and makes quarterly payment once the quarter gets over quarter is always fixed april may june july august september october november december jan Feb, and march once every quarter gets over whatever is the turnover they will go ahead and make the payment and file one intimation in cmp08 after every quarter by 18th of the next month they have to file cmp08 after making the payment can I go ahead everyone and once the year gets over by 30th of April they should file GSTR 4 and sir which is their return and annually they should file GSTR 9A by 31st of December. Whenever you are a composition dealer you should always mention I am a composition taxable person and I am not eligible to collect tax on my supplies in your bill so that people don't ask you right it over there. The next one is if you are a composition dealer on your notice board on your head whatever the notice board or sign board is there you should go ahead and write what I am a composition taxable person at your principal place or additional place of business whatever the notice board is there in that you should go ahead and write i am a composition taxable person the next one is sir intimation remember one thing everyone if you want to come into composition if you want to come inside composition if you are a first time registration if you are taking then baba no tension at all when you are taking a new registration in your gst reg 02 gst reg 02 gst reg 01 ka part B may, when you are going ahead, then Baba, when you are filling part B, there is an option you can just tick and your registration will come as composition dealer. Are we clear? Sir, but supposingly, I want to switch to composition. If registered person wants to switch to composition, then prior to the commencement of the year, Baba, when you want to come inside composition, prior to the beginning of the year, you have to go ahead and file what everyone? CMP02 and that's an intimation which you file prior to the year and from the beginning of the year, you will come under composition and that is what is told one intimation pan wise it required and not state wise one intimation if you file across every state wherever you are under composition you will come under where you are under normal registration all your registration will come under composition are we clear sir first time registration when you are filing your gst rg01 part b may just tick you want composition and your registration will come as composition supposingly i have took a normal registration now i want to switch to composition scheme then baba at the beginning of the year you have to go ahead and file what everyone gst cmp02 intimation and your registration from the beginning of the year will come under composition scheme everyone over here now intimation 02 is not required to be filed every year to continue under composition means if you have taken once composition by filing intimation uh, cmp02 every year you will be under composition unless you become ineligible or you opt out the next one over here is applicability when you are going in and checking whether composition scheme is allowed to me or not you should check always aggregate turnover can i go ahead everyone sir when you have to go ahead and make the payment when you have to go ahead and make the payment always remember one thing state wise payment is done when you check as applicability it is fan wise aggregate turnover but when you have to make the payment it is always state wise turnover compliances and returns and records are always state wise the next one over here is for determining tax payable and for determining eligibility everyone listen to me very carefully 
If I go ahead and tell you, supposingly, till now I have not gone ahead and taken registration. Till now I have not gone ahead and come under registration. Every year, your turnover calculation starts with zero. Means every year is a new year. Can I go ahead, everyone? Unless you are registered. Supposingly, I have not gone ahead and taken registration till now. And this is my first year when I have not taken registration till now. Sir, 2021, supposingly, 2020, 21. And till here, I am not liable to register only because my aggregate turnover cross 40 lakh over here. For an example, so here my taxable supplies was 40 lakh rupees. Here my taxable supplies was remaining period ke liye, remaining supplies was 60 lakh rupees. Here my interest lakh, it was 20 lakh rupees. Can you tell me when I am checking 21, 22 May, if I am eligible under composition scheme, okay, if I am going ahead and checking whether what is my turnover for the purpose of making the payment, can you tell me on what turnover will I make the payment? Remember, from 1st April up to the date of becoming liable for registration, anyways, you will not make any payment of GST on this because it's your first year when you are not registered till now. If you are not registered till now, up to 40 lakh, to, you don't have to go ahead and pay any GST. And after that, whatever is the turnover, please exclude interest. And on 60 lakh rupees, you will be required to make the payment. Do you guys agree with me? 60 lakh rupees, you will pay under composition scheme. So that was that is what they are telling. For determining tax payable, turnover shall always exclude 1st April up to the date of income liability. LG liable, this, this turnover will be excluded and also from your turnover exclude exam supply of service which is interest or discount. Are we clear everyone? But then they are going ahead and telling sir, if supposing in next financial year, I want to check whether I am eligible or not, then I will need what everyone? Aggregate turnover. This is for the payment I have told you turnover. Now if I have to check aggregate turnover, remember one thing, aggregate turnover 1st April up to the date of becoming liable for registration also has to be included and this turnover also has to be excluded but interest will not be included in aggregate turnover also can you tell me what is my aggregate turnover 40 plus 60 1 crore rupees am i eligible yes they have gone ahead and told over here for determining eligibility aggregate turnover shall include supplies from 1st april up to the date of becoming liable so this turnover also will be included in aggregate turnover and this will also be included in aggregate turnover but aggregate turnover say also you should exclude exam supply of service which is interest or discount i hope this point is clear to all of you now if you come on the right hand side i have gone ahead and written section number 10 5 if supposing the officer has a doubt on you if proper officer has reason to believe that registered person is not eligible for composition or he has done you have done already some contravention but you are still continuing with co composition scheme then sir proper officer will issue a show cause notice to you proper officer will issue a show cause notice in gst cmp 05 you have to go ahead and reply to the officer in GST CMP 06. Once you reply, then within the next 30 days, either he will go ahead and allow you to be under composition or he will go ahead and say, I'm denying composition to you. So, sir, he will go ahead and give you a once you go ahead and give a reply, he will give you an order in GST CMP 07. Either he will allow you composition or he'll deny you composition. And he will tell tell from which date the from the date either you are taking the option or from the date you have declined and done some contravention from that day he'll deny the composition if he denies the composition to you for an example as a manufacturer you are paying only one percent but on your goods 18 percent is applicable then the differential 17 percent he will go ahead and recover if composition is denied you have to pay the differential tax with penalty and remember provision of section number 73 and 74 shall be applying mutatis mutatis means for that 17 percent recovery he will give you a demand order and if you don't pay the demand order you know what happens in three months if you don't pay the demand order they can hang you upside down and recover can i go ahead everyone are we clear till here everyone over here now what did i tell you till now people i went ahead and told you in the preceding financial year our turnover is 1.5 crore 75 lakh excluding interest or discount then in the current year you will have an option option is to take what everyone composition scheme eligible is mtr ineligible is mines if you are ineligible under 10 1 and 10 2 you can come to 10 2 a which goes ahead and says what everyone if your turnover is last year was up to 50 lakh in the current financial year you can be under composition up to a turnover of 50 lakh rupees but you have to pay 3% CGST and 3% SGST. Mine is ineligible under 10 to 8. Clear? Now, everyone over here, when you have to take composition scheme, you file CMP02, right everyone? When you have to take composition scheme, you have to file CMP02. Now, if supposingly, you go ahead and cross threshold limit or you voluntarily want to withdraw or you violate the condition and become ineligible, now you have become what you, the day you violate or the day you become ineligible, you are a normal person, take ITC, charge GST. Take ITC and charge GST and also you should go online and sue moto on your own. But to come in, you have to file CMP02. To go out, you have to file CMP04 within seven days of the event. 
आर वी क्लियर इन केस ऑफ सेल्फ विद्रॉवल सर आई सेल्फ वॉन्ट टू विद्रॉ बाबा कमिंग इन हैज टू बी एट द बिगनिंग ऑफ द ईयर ओनली कमिंग इन हैज टू बी एट द बिगनिंग ऑफ द ईयर ओनली न्यू रजिस्ट्रेशन यू कैन कम इन एनी टाइम बट अदरवाइज इफ यू वॉन्ट टू कम इन इट हैज टू बी एट द बिगनिंग ऑफ द ईयर गोइंग आउट there is no time limit baba if you want in between the year you can go out just have to before in case of self withdrawal cmp 04 before the date of such withdrawal are we clear everyone now listen to me very carefully one thing which i want to tell you sir tell me one thing if i was a normal person baba i am a normal person only i was under normal registration normal registration and now i want to come into composition what did you tell me normal registration i want to come into composition cmp 0 Two has to be five at the beginning of the year. Also, when I was a normal person, I was taking input tax credit. But when I am a composition person, I will not go ahead and charge GST. I should not be taking ITC. Okay, whatever I do now, I will not take ITC. I will not charge GST. But my question over here is, sir, when I came under composition one day before, inputs are lying in my stock, semi-finished goods and finished goods. Correct, everyone. And also, sir, capital goods are lying with me, and all those things I had gone ahead and taken the ITC. When I sell them, I am not going to charge any GST. when i sell them i am not going to charge any gst so whatever input tax credit i had taken on the inputs and capital goods has to be reversed are we clear everyone and that reversal ka method is given in you have to go ahead and file whatever amount you have to reverse for that you have to file what everyone gst itc 03 within 60 days of commencement of the financial year and that reversal ka story we will be learning in section number 184 read with rule number 44 in our itc ka chapter reversal on inputs and capital goods has to be done now everyone over here sir i was under composition scheme i was under composition scheme now i came and now i came under normal registration so sir first of all i have to file cmp 04 and sir i was not taking the input tax credit now i can take itc also i will charge gst also so sir one day prior whatever inputs are lying in my stock semi finished goods and finished goods and also capital goods which are lying with me i had not gone ahead and taken the itc sir i had not taken the itc but now because i am going to charge gst all these itcs you can go ahead and take sir how much i can take how much i can't take that is told in you have to go ahead and file gst itc 01 details of input is stock semi finished goods and finished goods and capital goods that will be told in section number 181c read with rule number 40 how much credit you can take that will discuss in our chapter of input tax credit remember one thing itc 01 has to be filed within 30 days from the date when option was withdrawn within how many days 30 days or the day officer had gone ahead and denied you composition from that day within how many days 30 days can we go ahead everyone so tell me one thing to come in you file cmp02 along with that to take the itc to take the itc or to pay back the itc to reverse the itc you will go ahead and file what everyone itc03 sir to get out of composition you will file cmp04 and along with that to pay, make the payment of the itc to make the payment of itc or to take the itc to take the itc you will have to go ahead and file gst itc01 to come in cmp02 and itc03 and to go out cmp04 and itc01 clear everyone remember this point and sir what is the difference between normal scheme and composition scheme i have just written over here normal is under section number 9 composition scheme is under section number 10 normal rates are 5% 12% 18% 20% 20 28% composition is 1% 1% 5% and 10 to ma it is 6% normal scheme we go ahead and pay return we go ahead and file our gst at 3b by what date everyone 20th of the next month normally baba quarterly return 22nd 24th etc is there but normally we file by what date 20th and composition dealer files quarterly he does not file return he gives an intimation that i am going ahead and making the payment and that pay once you do the payment you file an intimation cmp08 and annually you file your return by 30th april can i go ahead everyone here your gstr 3b and annual return is gstr 9 here gstr 4 and annual return is gstr 9a here you issue tax invoice normally Uh, composition dealer issues bill of supply normally you can take itc composition dealer cannot take itc so whatever he has to pay 1% 1% 5% or whatever uh, 6% he has to pay or reverse charge ka gst has to pay everything has to be paid in cash only right everyone here i will go ahead and co close my revision over here it's a b graded chapter sometime they go ahead and ask a question sir what are the important points to remember remember the limit 
limit for 75 lakh and 1.5 crore remember mtr has to go ahead and pay 0.5 0.5 0.5 0.5 trader ka case mein be, be very careful it is only on the taxable turnover remember section number 10 to a it is important remember mines who are the people who are ineligible for composition scheme also remember this small point cmp02 cmp04 wala point which i have gone ahead and told you and sir otherwise these two points can you see these two points at the down when you are calculating aggregate turnover and turnover for the purpose of making payment these two points has to be remembered right everyone i'll go ahead and close my revision on the chapter of composition, composition. congratulations people done